Hello everybody, my name is Kitam, welcome back from the video of Suzerain. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, I actually don't really remember what we did because it's been a while since I've last recorded, boys. But uh, uh, we are going to continue, I guess. We talked with a bunch of people as always. I think we uh, created a constitution. We didn't put it into the place. It's actually being voted on right now. So uh, that's really good. Hopefully, it's actually gonna. They're gonna accept uh, the Congress and everything. They're gonna accept the new uh, constitution. We also uh, decided to ban one of the parties, ban the extremist parties on the right. So we're gonna see how that works. Uh, works out. Hopefully, our economy eventually is gonna go up. We got a budget of one and a wealth of one, boys. So let's see what was going on in Avery. Car bomb attack. That's not good. Uh, we've got something else in Ribble. School poisoning connected to a bloodish woman. God damn it, man. Got a bunch of stuff. So unstable, boys. It's unbelievable. I have we still, a uh, project is still working. Uh, we're still working on that. Alright, so budget allo allocation of the government of Soylent. Let's see what we got. Where are we gonna, what are we gonna do with our budget, I guess. Preparations for the government budget were finished. Most of the cabinet gathered in the white room. All right, so nearly half a year had passed since my iteration. All right, so it's been half a year, boys. The cabinet looked over, uh, overworked. I would like us, uh, I would like to use this part, uh, opportunity for a statement. And now the moment will, uh, we've all been waiting for. Uh, welcome everybody. Great, great to see you all. There we go. Let's not be, uh, let's let's be formal uh, beforehand. First and foremost, everybody's in here actually. Nearly everybody's in here, all my ministers and stuff, so that's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. All right, they're all uh, saying this. Sadly, Peter, Gus, and uh, David, which he won't be attending this meeting. Why not? They're working on the upcoming trade agreements with uh, Wellen and Agnola. Okay, so they're already working on the other projects. Okay, that's fine in that, in that case. I can, uh, I, I can work with that. All right, so uh, Sarah gave a barely disguised eye roll. Before we begin, is there anybody uh, going to mention the ban on the young swords? Uh, she doesn't like that, does she? Well, look, it is what it is. However much their, uh, their diplom political aims might differ from our administrations, surely you must agree that freedom of expression must be protected at all costs. I mean, Mr. M Morna is right. Oh, these two women are together on that one, huh? Yeah, flashed her an appreciated smile. I myself strongly would disagree with the young sword's politics, but even I believe that she broke off as she noticed that Lucian, Simon, and Yosef were looking at her, and Naya and Stony silent. Yeah, we're looking at you, my girl. Careful what you're gonna say. Do you want to be banned yourself? That's right. I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't care anymore. All right, I'm gonna protect my country no matter what. All right, that's how it goes. Ladies, let's leave the extra, uh, extraneous chit chat for uh, afternoon tea. Uh, Shara shot a pleading look at Lila's for merely uh, pursed her lips disapprovingly. Uh, the ban is final. Don't question it any further. Yeah, if you have any problems with a uh, ban, call a separate meeting with me. Exactly. Just call a separate meeting with me. We're not uh, here to discuss that right now. As uh, Simon started loudly shuffling some documents around. All eyes turn to the Minister of Economy. Let's begin, Mr. All. There we go. Gladly. Alright, so today is a big day. We must prioritize our spending wisely in order to achieve the goals we set as a government. While maintaining enough political support, if I may add, promise, promises were made during the election. Uh, there are three options regarding the budgeting of the four main branches of the government. It's either we increase, maintain, or decrease the funding. Increasing will result in an improvement of the branch, which will unlock new policy options. Maintaining will keep the funding, resulting in no visible changes. Decreasing causes uh, a lot of efficiency in uh, that branch. Uh, can we rely on the private sector to support us? I'm sure we can do that to a certain extent in some branches, like education and health. Our universal healthcare system must be protected and not be tainted by private greed or interest. We need to be considerate uh, when making such choices that are ripple the pick. Uh, we have to be careful as to what we found so we have resources remaining for another investment project. Yeah, because I, I have only one resource for another investment project. Boys, I have nothing else. Uh, 
I want to upgrade the budget more than anything else. So we don't have enough left. We should prioritize the most critical branches. We have to keep true to the election promises. Exactly. We're going to keep true to the promises. I don't remember what my promises were though. For that, so you're going to have to remind me. As much as we are uh, realistically uh, can, we if we fail at improving our economy, the promises don't mean much in the big picture. Uh, before we begin our discussion, uh, discussion, there is no one more thing that I want to voice my opinion on. As we manage to go the, the government budget, we are obviously able to go into depth to invest in different branches. Although depth is a, po is a possibility, under these circumstances, we would dent our financial system, system uh, worsening the economy crisis if we push it too far. A point from me as well uh, to everyone before the discussion, given the current state of the country, the economic situation is a political priority right now, more so than ever. Uh, this budget will also be ap applicable to our entire term. It is very critical that we plan directly. Uh, let's begin then. All right, so which branch should we discuss first? Healthcare, enforcement, uh, law enforcement. It's time to hear the opi opinions of the military. What about education? Well, what about education first? Yeah, what, what's uh, what's going on on the education part? Because healthcare, I already know healthcare is doing fine. I don't need to do anything with it. We already have a universal healthcare, so why do we, I don't need to change anything. What about education? So our education system is lacking not only is found in, in funding, but also in modern curricle principles. Our outdated curriculum is wasting our, our youth. That is the reason I advocate those things. An increase of the budget would improve the access to education and a new education reform. The, to be honest, Swordland is lacking compared to Arcasia and United Cantana. When it comes to education level, the backbone of any country it is, is its people. And we need to protect our future. We need to ensure the new generations is as well educated as their counterparts in more modern countries. Nonsense. What? Swordland is still here because of this very system that you insult. How can you insult a system that teaches our son and daughters the principles of national identity and pride? Well, I'm kind of split on that one. I do want people to be proud of their nation, but that doesn't mean that does, that can't go at the cost of being illiterate or or being co completely stupid. You don't want to you don't want to be an American. You want to be a Quebecois, boys. That's the main difference, you know. There's a difference between the two of them. Come on, we uh we won't be compared to other countries. Swordland is Swordland. Well, I agree with Lilias. Uh, Sordland is Sordland, right? They're all patriotic or something? What the hell's going on? It, it must also remind, I must also remind you that we promised that we were going to focus on education during our campaign. We did say we were going to focus on the education. So that is going to be my primary thing then. If, uh, if it is, you're right Lucian, we can't let people down. All right, let's talk about healthcare. Our healthcare system is vast. It provides free services to most of our citizens. The citizens. However, however, the quality of our health services is far worse than low income. I don't care as long as we have it. Uh, so therefore, I think we should receive more funding. Bullshit. I don't think we you should. I agree. I have recently begun an investigating uh, investigation into healthcare and Narble, and the numbers are not good. If we don't increase spending on health services, we are at, we at least need to mention it and maintain it. Otherwise, we are putting lives at risk. We have just started a new al uh, analysis on what would happen if a pandemic struck Stordland. According to the result, if our healthcare facilities remain in their current state, the death toll would be unimaginable. Let's, let's just hope there's no pandemic then. That's all I'm going to say. All right. I don't think there's going to be an uh, in the pandemic. All right. I'm not even talking about the damages uh, of, to the economy. There's uh, a matter of life and death, Mr. President. It should be treated as much. Well, I don't care. You know. You're not my priority healthcare right now. You're already in there. If you didn't have the free stuff, I would focus on you. But I don't need to focus on you. You're already free. That is only if a pandemic happens. Exactly. It's, it's not going to happen. What is there to hear about? I already voiced my opinions. Rumberg is coming whether we like it or not. If not this year, next year. If not next year, the year after that. Mr. President, you and I have shared responsibility to protect this nation from its enemies, and I intend to do so until my last breath. 
I will say this with, with certainty. If Romberg doesn't make a move against Sordland in two or three years, my name is not Josef Lancia. Well, Josef was beginning to lose control of the volume of his voice. There, there can be no argument against increasing the budget for our army when there is an enemy on our doorstep, waiting for us to make one wrong move. Anyone who thinks otherwise is a fool. Mr. Lancia, right. Part of my theatrics, sir. But this is a serious matter. The future of our country is up to you, Mr. President. Well, here is an argument. The armed forces doing nothing but eat away financial resources destined for our people while stocking fear for an, uh, fears for an upcoming war. The issues with Romberg can be solved diplomatically. What kind of message are we sending to them and the whole world if we suddenly start ramping up our military budget? That we are ready to defend our nation. Exactly. That's the that's what the we're telling them. If they want to come, go, attack us. I don't care. We're gonna get be ready. Exactly. All right. So I agree with you. That Rumbuck is a real threat, and we need to be ready. We need to be ready for that threat. All right. Let's discuss uh, law enforcement. I would like us. Uh, I would like to have an increase in the funding of law enforcement to increase the cease, uh, the size of the police force and raise salaries. We have so many internal threats to tackle and I'm already stretching my units far too thin, uh, thin with the limited resources allocated to them. Uh, Nia cleared her throat. Law enforcement is certainly a high priority. However, I feel tackling internal corruption is of far higher importance than increasing our poli police presence. Directing the funds to my department would solve the problem at its roots. If corruption is still rampant, all the police in the world won't help us. We need a specialized anti-corruption police unit, which we, uh, uh, which we would create if the funds were directed or directed to me. Oh, I see what uh, what's going on here. I see what's going on. Now, I think you want the money for yourself, Naya. I think you just want the money for yourself so you can become corrupt as well. I uh, don't don't put that bullshit anti-corruption on me. You're definitely corrupted yourself. Uh, I agree with Mr. Magna. We should not reward a structure that is responsible for even uh, for an ever increasing number of human rights violations. Additionally, corruption is the reason of our government inefficiencies. It needs to be tackled. The police are there to serve and protect the people of Sordon, Mr. Walda, and that is exactly what we're doing. More funding will allow us to take care of our police forces. It is quite a simple choice given the current status of the country. I agree with Lidas. Uh, if this uh, if this was another time, I would have said in, uh, something different, but we know the current situation. I agree with Sarah. Uh, what would people think if we found the police after all that happened? Nah, I don't care. I don't care. That's just bullshit media right there. Fake news, boys. The hell? Look, the only way I think... The, I agree with Lelis. The only way to stop the corruption is to increase the budget for the police. Alright? We, we need to stop the violence altogether. Yeah, we gotta start with that. Very good. Talking points from everyone. Well then, time to make a decision on the budget as uh, come. Consider it with care, President. Mr. President. So I'm in place the stack of papers on my table. All right. So what do we do? Team budget. Health. So the healthcare system was a crossroads since the 1940s. The difference in quality between urban and rural hospitals were getting worse. And the Irish life expectancy dropped. All right, so upon selecting one of the, uh, you will sign an irreversible order. Please think carefully before, uh, carefully before there will be no going back to this time. This time, okay. So I gotta really make a good choice. I only have one budget remaining. I can only choose for one of them, boys. So no matter what I do, uh, if I decrease the budget, actually, uh, it would give me a, an additional budget. I'm not gonna do it for healthcare. I'm just gonna maintain it. I, I don't want to use my budget for the healthcare, so I'm going to maintain it. I'm going to keep the point that I got. Education. I do want to increase it, boys. I want to increase the, the education because that will give me uh, another point right there. But obviously, I want to uh, increase the education. It is part of my promises, so let's increase it. There we go. Law enforcement. All right, so law enforcement. I do want to increase it. So I would be a minus one of budgets. I wouldn't be in depth uh, right here, boys. So if we start being in depth, I don't know what's going to happen here. But 
we'll see. Now, law enforcement, um, so what's going to happen? Crime law says a new wave of immigration has pushed many ways of the law enforcement to the limits. Judges at court are barely keeping up with the back, uh, backlog of cases. On the other hand, the police are overburdened. Well, what's going to happen if I decrease the budget? I can't be decreasing the budget for the police, though. I'm not sure if I want to increase or not. Uh, the other stuff is the military, right? And after that, well, I already did the education. So I, oh, there's only law enforcement and military left. I want to upgrade the military. So I need to decrease somewhere in order for me to upgrade something. I'm going to decrease law enforcement, boys. It's just how, uh, how it is. I'm just decreasing. All right, so I've got a budget now. I got an actual budget. So with that, I'm going to increase the military. Boom. And it uh, it's done. So we're increasing education uh, and military while simultaneously going neutral on the whole education uh, healthcare system. And uh, we are going to decrease the budget for law enforcement. Uh, I don't really care too much. So let's go. Let's do it. All right. Finished allocating the government budget. There's no going back now. We have no budget left, boys. Hopefully, eventually, we're going to gain some. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that, though. So let's see what we got. The satisf uh, satisfaction of some cabinet members and the dismay of others. They and I knew they would. this would define a significant part of our term. All right. It's, it looks like we have a balanced budget with no deficit or surplus. Not bad. Not bad at all. Exactly. I made it, uh, I made it clear that I, I don't want to go into debt. That's only going to create a problem for our economy. Uh, so I don't want to do that. So I decided to just uh, make some sacrifices in the law enforcement department, boys. That's all I could do. All right. So agreed. Uh, well, then let's start with law enforcement. Nilas and Lilas were frowning. When I looked at her, Lila shook her head. I have I heavily disapprove. We are barely making ends meet on the security side. I will be forced to reduce our force size and salary. Well, it is what it is. Reduce the salaries. I don't care. It is what it is, my girl. I have to make some sacrifice at this point, at some point. The reduction of the budget might also put us uh, in a tight spot regarding our ability to handle the amount of court cases. Well, I don't care. All right, let the criminals be on the streets. At this point, I really don't care. All right, uh, I, I, don't, I don't care at this point. I'm just focusing on external threats for now, boys. The internal threats are not my problem. Any statements uh, on the matter, sir? Well, I trust you to put the Ministry of Interior and Justice forward. Our new priorities called for a reduction. Exactly, our new priorities just call for the reduction. That's just how it is. Uh, these are disheartening changes we will try to mitigate. A troubled times are ahead for our ministries. All right, let's hear the uh, story of education. Sarah was eager to comment. The increase of funding is very welcome. We can finally go after some comprehensive improvements by building new schools and improving the education system, which was my promises. One of my promises for the uh, election, boys. I'm keeping all of them. I'm going to do all my promises. That's how I'm going to get reelected, no matter what the mistakes, uh, what mistakes I made. I'm going to, if I make due to my promises, I'll be reelected. Re so surely a well-founded and larger ministry of education would benefit, uh, benefit everyone. Uh, our, be our future depends on our children. Education is a first step in the fight against ignorance. Education is our future and I will not be sidelined. Our focus is, uh, on it is clear. There we go. Thank you. It's great to see a positive change in the attitude of the administration for the first time in a decade. Military is next. Uh, CR clearly wasn't finished, but didn't interject. Yosef chimed in. It is an honor to serve with a president that respects the military. Exactly. Uh, trust me, with these funds, our armed forces will be better than ever before. Uh, Lucian seemed as if we are about to say something, uh, but looked down at his notepad when Yosef hide him. The military is on top of my priority list and uh, always will be, rest assured. With your talent and experience, you will overcome the issues our, our military faces. Exactly. Uh, with the support uh, you have provided, I will protect this country from any threat. There we go. That's all I want to hear. Uh, Yusuf leaned back in his chair. Let's hear from Mr. Uh, Bennywall. I can't say the maintaining of uh, the founding is negative, but I don't think our services will perform any better. Welfare must remain a priority for our term. There is no other way around it. 
Your opinions were noted, Pascal. Your task is to improve the care uh, uh, in their country. It is best we continue our funding as it is. You will find new resources. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to find re new resources, my guy. Ministry of Health will result to a privatization effort to create funds to improve uh, services. That covers uh, all branches. Each minister will approach you with their respective policy requests and expectations over the next year. Uh, thank you for, the, uh, for your time and participation in the significant moment. The meeting is concluded. All right, thank you everyone. I appreciate your time and effort. Regardless of what happened, I wouldn't be here without you. Don't forget that we are a team. For those who didn't like the decision, don't take it personally. <laughs> well, I appreciate all of your time and effort. There we go. This was bid farewell. The cabinet slowly dispersed. So we made our choice, boys. Now, some of these choices is very reg regrettable, of course. But, you know, we got to make choices at some point. So I may, uh, we got to make some hard choices. And it's just the law enforcement had to do what happened. So reform committee status report. Right, let's see right here turn three has been completed decided to maintain the health budget it's a shame that i have to decrease a budget but uh you know i'm just gonna have to i had to do it because otherwise i didn't have any points i didn't want to go into the budget just to go for the military i needed to upgrade the military uh boys i need to show the rumberg that i can actually defend myself and with agnola now we're gonna eat uh, as an ally we're definitely gonna be able to defeat these guys easily and maybe expand a little bit and take some territories for ourselves, boys. That's uh, just how it is. Uh, some newspaper. 1954 uh, Swedish government budget. They're talking about it. Government introduces cuts to the police funding. All right. The vice president uh, described the budget as a cornerstone and said that it is a time to work through our goals much more de determinedly and strongly. There you go. Ministry of the Interior and the opposition leader. Uh, have both criticized the decrease in uh, security funding today in different public events. All right, let's see what we got. Because there's, there's always uh, violence in the streets and stuff, uh, people dying all over the place, and I just decreased the budget, uh, and now it's going to be get worse. But look, internal threats are not my problem right now. So chapter one has been completed. Uh, we are now entering chapter two, a new Swordland, boys. Uh, so a brand new chapter to the game. All right, so we've just entered a brand new chapter. Let's see. Literally, I hope that we're going to be able to upgrade. We are maintaining our economy. It stays at three for now. Our wealth, personal wealth. I could probably use it to help out someone, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so what is this? Read the report. Massive networks of uh, priests discovered. Uh, so what is that? I don't know what uh, BFF priest uh, means. I read the report for now, else. Education in rural regions require improvements. Well, it's on its way. It's on its way. You got an increase in budget, my guy. A military equipment outdated. Well, we're going to be upgrading that equipment. Don't worry about that one. And read the report. Benfi Regional Airport overcrowded. Well, that's just going to have to will, uh, deal with that, my guy. It is what it is. All right. So we've got Nola. Anola offshore drilling near uh, Highland increased tensions. I started oil drilling operations very close to the disputed borders of the AG Island. So there, this is very disputed territory right here, boys. It's gonna be there's gonna be a war coming up. We're probably gonna have to deal with them once we're allied with Anola, but right now it's not our problem. All right, we've got an act and a, a riot thing going on. So Workers Rights Act. Let's sign on that first. Let's see what the, this is all about. All right, so brand new act, boys. So, section one establishes a minimum wage of 2.5 swordish range uh, only. What? 2.5 rand per hour? That's not a lot. Section two sets a, a weekly min a maximum of 60 hours of labor. Good lord. Section three establishes a double overtime pay per hour. Well, there is a double overtime pay, I guess. Uh, after 40 a week. Okay, so it is maximum 40 a week, but it's usually 60. Okay, section 4 determines that workers are to be protected against occupational hazards and be provided humane work conditions. Section 5 establishes that migrants or undocumented uh, uh, workers have the same workers' rights as citizens. If any employer shall not be abide by these rules, they will be heavily fined by the government and if not corrected, we will face legal action. 
I don't have any budget though. If I sign this, I'm gonna be a debt. So workers' rights, I guess. So we have some. I guess it's a minimum wage. So they didn't have a minimum wage before or something. So I guess we're protecting the workers now, uh, which is kind of part of being a communist, right? So maybe. But the problem is I don't have any budget right now. How am I gonna increase my budget? Uh, I'm not gonna increase it anytime soon. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna sign in because I do think the workers need to be upgraded so we're gonna go into depth right here it is what it is let's just go into depth we're gonna sign it there we go minus one in military uh, in government budget it is what it is also so to express this guy so this guy also so to, sought to express his gratitude for confirmation uh the new law blah 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 establish all of this rain signs worker bill a uh, workers bills into law the recently imploded workers rights will be uh, will cause the initial pro protest against the government to melt down there we go protests are going to melt down because i helped the uh, help them radicals rubles and surprisingly move as this uh, the prison has decided to do something right well look i'm always doing something right navy forces a nolan drill ship to retreat from oh there's a lot of things <laughs> There's an ultimatum going on right here. They they did an ultimatum to Anola. Interesting. There's a war going on. Now my budget is going minus right here. I don't know what to do. Found riot control gear. All right. So build a riot. Oh my god. I don't have any budget. All right. So the recent unrest has shown weakness in our uh, law enforcement ability to maintain order and peace. The Ministry of Interior has run out of important vehicles, armor, and other. Uh, crowd control gear to be able to ensure stability in the country. Should we found riot con uh, control equipment? Uh, nope. Don't buy. Alright, just deal with it. For Christ's sake, I just... Like, I'm in already in the minuses. I'm not gonna spend more. I don't have any money right now. Alright, let's see what we got. Regional investment decision. Budget allocation of the law enforcement. An evening walk with Monica. All right, uh, regional investment decision. Let's just do budget allocation of the law enforcement first. So my new next stage meeting was about the law enforcement budget with Naya and Lilias. I heard some knocks on the door. Okay, so they, they want to talk to me privately about that. They entered and took a seat. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon. Lilias will, will be late. After, uh, apparently, there was an urgent matter at the Ministry of Interior she had to, uh, to attend to. Shouldn't take long. Uh, what urgent matter? Very well, let's wait. That's a couple of minutes less of Lila. I said, great. Uh, what is this actually? Country overview. Is something uh, new going on? Oh, okay. Workers' rights and Young Swords ban. Okay. You said something about supply distribution for the police forces. Nothing major. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I returned to my reports and Naya smoothed back an errant strand of her hair. She was... Uh, there was an awkward silence. While we wait, we don't have... A, why don't we have a little chat? This might come off as a little strange, but I am proud of you. Despite everything, you were actually trying to reform the country. You are actually trying to reform. As far as I'm a trying. This is just the beginning. There's much more to do. It's we, Naya, not me. I couldn't do it. But, uh, no, I can't do it. Definitely do this by myself. Friday won't work on me. What do you want? Well, this is just the beginning. Well, exactly. Friday we won't work. What, what, is it, what is it that you want exactly? Now I just want to chat. She leaned forward. How are you really holding up, Anton? Being president, I mean. Nah, nothing I can't handle. Very well, I will take your word on that. I want to assist you in the country, in the country as best as I can. Unfortunately, my hands are tied with the current budget allocations we have for the law enforcement. Well, that's too bad, my girl. There's nothing I can do about that. She barely finished the sentence before we heard a knock on the door. Naya almost jumped in her chair. Lilia's graph entered the room. Mr. President, Naya, I hope that I'm not interrupting your conversation. No, not at all. We are just discussing a few things. Naya, Naya smiled at Lilas. I'm sorry for being late. There was an important matter at the ministry. Just a small dispute over we should get uh, the supplies. Nothing major. Lilia took uh, the, next seat, uh, the seat next to Naya as she continued talking. I also need to stay, need to stay, Mr. President, that your lack of support to the law enforcement is taking its toll on the police forces. They're crumbling away. Well then, let's go straight in. We will provide a brief update on the situation. Uh, go ahead. 
Naya? Alright, so the Ministry of Justice and the Supreme Court is working in close collaboration with the Ministry of Interior to address the protests in the country. I must add that thanks to the hard work of judiciary, the law enforcement forces assigned to my ministry are doing their jobs efficiently. I would call it the success of our forces on the ground, not to, to the judicial branch of our uh, government. Yeah, uh, shot Naya a brief waiting glance. As expected after the budget rejection, the morale of the employees are at an all-time all low. Many of them face the risk of losing their jobs now. Yet, here we are, with massive protests happening in the country, talking about how we have to fire a security force personnel. What makes things worse is that our request to fund the lacking uh, riot control equipment has been ignored. This is ridiculous. I agree, the Ministry of Justice was hit the worst. The backlog of the course... Uh, court cases are so high that the judges don't even need don't even have time to look at smaller cases postponing these uh, to months or years later this causes this distress uh, distru disastrous bottleneck how can we ju deal justice if we can't even find time for these cases uh, i'm sure you will manage i had to make sacrifices for the good of certain it's just how it is my girl these sacrifices might have very well damaged the structural integrity of certain that remains to be seen, but ripples are already being felt across the country. I hope this decision is not the beginning of something bad. Well then, let's move on to what we are actually here for. Due to the budget decrease, we have no choice but to cut the funding from a branch. You need to make a decision to determine which branch gets the cut. Exactly, when deciding you must look at the bigger picture and I believe you will make the right decision. Why should I cut funding for, uh, for the from Ministry uh, of Interior? Ministry of, uh, of Justice, okay. Well, what if I uh, decide to cut funding equally? We need to make decisive actions. Cutting funding from both branches won't help anyone. Look at this this way, Ministry of Justice. Uh, the Ministry of Justice has never been uh, well-founded in Sordon, while the Ministry of Interior was always more lucky, already causing this uneven balance in, in between the, uh, the two. That doesn't mean anything. The Ministry of Interior is far more critical in function, especially now. Tell me, Naya, who brings the criminal before the justices? Let me answer. The police forces connected to the Ministry of Interior. Alright, so I'm ready to make a decision. You know, I made a mad decision. What would it be? They both lean forward. Funds will be decreased for the justice. We will... Bu uh, we Yeah, budget will be cut equally for both ministries, boys. We're just gonna equ cut equally. Alright, it's just how it is. Just gonna cut equally and uh, you're gonna have to deal with it. This is completely absurd and unbefitting to the president of Sordland. Just shut the fuck up, I'm the president, I'm gonna do what I want. Do you still want a job or not? This is ridiculous. A brief moment of deliberation passed, Nidas and Nia got up from their seats. I must return to ministry to implement necessary changes. Me too. They both left. As soon as the door closed, I could der hear their muffled voices as they argued. They're not happy, boys. They're clearly not happy about me right now. My decisions. Look, I'm making decisions. The government, the law system, I don't give a fuck about the law system, boys. It can go to hell for all I care. It really can. Right now, it is not my focus at all, boys. Right now, my focus, external threat. Internal ones? My, my cities can go to hell, alright? They can burn in hell. I can only care about workers' rights, internal, uh, like, internal, uh, citizens' rights and stuff. I'm gonna take care of that. Other things, like, pff, the police and stuff, I don't care. I really don't. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it for today, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.